this one new feature inside of Notebook LM is getting slept on. I think this is one of the most important features in AI history. This little interactive mode. All right, I'm gonna explain, uh, tell you what this is and show you exactly how to use this inside of Notebook LM. All right, uh, let's dive into it. This is gonna be a quick one. What's going on, y'all? My name's Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. So most days we do a little AI in five, uh, quick five minute tip, trick, or tutorial. So if this is helpful, please let me know subscribe to this channel, all that good stuff. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a brand new uh, notebook inside of Notebook LM. Uh, we're actually gonna do a notebook on this new Google uh, Gemini Deep Research feature. Uh, so it's actually crazy. I have this, one of these going right now, it's already looked at 1300 websites. Uh, wild. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste all this. Uh, and I'm gonna go and create a new notebook. All right, so one thing to keep in mind, Let's go ahead. There we go. I've done many uh, overviews of Notebook LM, uh, the, the new interface, how it all works. So we're not, this isn't that. So uh, check check the channel if you need a simple overview. But uh, essentially, Notebook LM is powered by Google, Google Gemini, and it only uses the information that you upload. All right, so there I have my source. I'm going to go ahead and customize this. So the deep dive is essentially two AI podcast hosts. Uh, have a podcast about your information. So I have some um, some custom instructions here. I'm just saying, make it funny and short, be very detailed and specific. Try and use basketball references in the beginning. I always like to test this to see how well it turns out. All right. Uh, actually, you know, this shouldn't take too long. Uh, I There's not a ton of information, right? If you ask for a lot of information uh, in the customization, I think I've gotten podcasts up to like 25 minutes. Uh, sometimes as short as three minutes if you don't put a lot of information in there. Had a medium amount of information, right? So looking at this blog post, I just copy and paste it here. It's the entire transcript of a 55-minute podcast uh, as well as some uh, additional information that we wrote up. So yeah, uh, hey, while, while we're waiting for this, it should just be like two minutes. Uh, but I'll just show you around the website. Might as well, right? Uh, if you didn't know, we have more than 400 episodes of Everyday AI. Uh, you can go listen to them all here. This is the Everyday AI. Listen to the podcast there. Uh, you can go watch the video. This one was uh, a little visual. Um, I was giving some examples I didn't notice here. it we didn't did get live. Uh, so that's there. You can also, people don't know this, on our episodes page, you can sort things uh, sort things by category. So let's say I... Um, I care about uh, just large language models. I can click that and then see every single podcast that we've had uh, specifically about large language models. So you can go listen, read, uh, and learn from the world's uh, experts on all those things. All right. So uh, one, uh, a couple things to keep in mind as this hopefully finishes up, it shouldn't be too long, is you have to be on a paid uh, Gemini plan to get access to this. So, uh, I covered notebook LM's recent updates in December. Uh, and one of them was they have the new pro plan, uh, or is it plus? I think it's plus, uh, but it's a normal Gemini subscription. So, uh, notebook LM does not, uh, yeah, it's plus notebook LM plus does not have its own dedicated subscription. It comes with your Gemini, uh, subscription. So if you are paying $20 per user per month uh, to Gemini, you should be able to use this new uh, feature here. I, I don't know if they're going to make this free uh, to free users as well um, in the future. So uh, we'll give this just one more second. I might as well show you a couple more things uh, inside um, Google Notebook LM. So you can add sources. Uh, so you can, uh, I usually just do this copy and paste text in there, uh, but you can upload files, uh, PDF, text, markdown, MP3s, et cetera. You can do YouTube videos. YouTube videos have to be public videos with uh, closed captions enabled. Uh, you can put websites, but not all websites work. A lot of them have uh, kind of blockers on that. You can also connect your Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides. Uh, I am on the plus plan, so you have 
uh, a 300 source limit, which is a ton. Uh, I believe it's a 50 source limit uh, if you are on the free plan. Uh, and that's like, I can't even count how many words this is. It's like hundreds of millions of words. All right. I didn't want to have to pause this video because I like seeing all these things in real time. Uh, so we'll give it just one more, one more second. We'll just can continue our, our little tour here. So once this is done, I can delete it, add more sources. Um, I can name my sources, which is a good idea, especially if you have a notebook with a lot of things, because then in your custom instructions, oh, there we go. Uh, then in your custom instructions uh, for the deep dive, you can say, hey, on this source, focus on this, on source B, you know, focus on this. So you can really get granular with your uh, customized instructions for the podcast host. All right. So let's get into it. I need to now, uh, so now after you generate this, uh, you can always change the playback speed, download, etc., uh, And then you have to click into interactive mode. All right. Uh, so one thing I wish Google would change is I, I don't know why, maybe it's my attention span. I can't listen to these in one X speed. Uh, yes, I'm impatient, right? AI makes me impatient. Um, so that's the downside of doing this interactive mode is you have to listen to it in one X, but let's go ahead and dive in. So remember, uh, in the instructions, I said, make it funny and short, be very detailed and specific and try and use basketball references in the beginning while explaining Gemini deep research. Let's go ahead and listen quick. And then I'm going to interrupt. So I'm going to click this join button. And at that point I can actually talk with the host. Let's go ahead and listen. Right. So imagine uh, you just took a break on the Internet for the holidays. Yeah. Maybe you did a full on digital detox or maybe you just, you know, got lost in all the festivities. Sure. But whatever the reason, you missed what I'd call like the AI equivalent of the NBA finals. Oh, wow. Google and OpenAI were basically going head to head. Really? Dropping all these major product updates. It was like watching them sink three pointers in the last. Okay. That's sorry. Side note. This is crazy. Um, I don't know if I referenced uh, anything in the podcast about it being in the holidays, but it's pretty, pretty interesting there that Google is, uh, that in notebook LM and the deep dive hosts are inserting topical relevance, right? Because it's the holiday season right now. So pretty impressive. All right. So they were just talking, uh, about the NBA, uh, open AI and Google. So I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to interrupt them. A seconds of the game. It's been an insane couple of weeks in the A. Oh, Hey, I think our listeners got something to say. Hey, you were just comparing OpenAI and um, Google in terms of this competition. Um, I mean, can you give me like a basketball equivalent of this? Are these two heavyweights or just two uh, kind of teams that are okay? Okay, so you want a basketball analogy for this AI showdown. I like it. Let's break it down. So if OpenAI and Google were basketball teams, it would definitely be a rivalry for the ages. For sure. You know, you have OpenAI, who's like the flashy newcomer. The underdog. Yeah, they came into the scene with all this groundbreaking tech. Like, they were a team full of rookies that are dunking on everyone. Exactly. And they're capturing everyone's attention with their fancy moves like their AI models that do everything. Right. And Google, they're the veteran team, the established powerhouse. The team that's been around forever. Yeah, they've got all the experience. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Can you actually maybe give each one a name, like what NBA team uh, would OpenAI be and what uh, NBA team would Google be given the context? Oh, you want to really nail down the analogy, huh? I like where this is going. Okay, so if OpenAI were an NBA team, they'd be the um, the Golden State Warriors of like 2015. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they came out of nowhere with Steph Curry, all these three-pointers, just totally changing the game. Making waves. Right, and they're really good, but in a new way. Totally. Now, Google, they're like the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, a classic. Yeah, they're established consistent they have this deep bench of talent and they've been at the top of their game for years so there is flashy but definitely a force all right that was actually a great analogy uh, by the way right uh, i was literally thinking in my head before i said that i'm like oh a good like a good comparison would be the early uh you know the early steph curry warriors and that's what it pulled out so pretty impressive so uh, i'm gonna keep i'm gonna join in i'm gonna say one more thing um and let's see how it does uh with this one Exactly. And they're constantly trying to outdo. Oh, go for it. 
Okay, cool. That's super helpful. So maybe let's just get into the the, the thick of deep research. So could you summarize it uh, just in a couple of sentences? Tell me what it is, what it does, you know, kind of the comparisons and how people can use it for everyday business use cases, but also try to weave in those basketball references and keep it funny too. Okay, so you want the lowdown on deep research with a side of hoops. I like it. A slam dunk summary, if you will. All right. So think of deep research as Google's star player. They spend a bunch of time in the gym. They've got this brand new skill. And the star player is basically like a super powered research assistant that can dig into like hundreds of websites at once. Yeah. Like it's the Steph Curry of research, you know, finding those impossible shots, those hidden connections and totally changing the game. And it's a real game changer for sure, because for businesses, this means you get these in depth, fully cited reports in minutes, not days. So it's like having the entire San Antonio Spurs bench doing research for you all at once. Absolutely. Now, ah, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, I get it, that's super helpful. Maybe can you uh, overall just summarize uh, Google Deep Research, but do it in a, in a haiku. Okay, so you want a haiku about Google Deep Research. I love it. Let's see if we can make this poetic. All right, here we go. AI scans the web, digs deep for hidden insights, research in minutes. Yeah, I think that captures it pretty well. It does. Now, I know you wanted that summary, but let's talk about some more details, okay? Yeah, and we can get back to the, you know, the big picture later. And how it compares to the other. All right, so as you can see, very, very impressive. So why did I say this is probably uh, one of the biggest AI uh, tools or features ever um it brings a level of accessibility that we haven't even had before right um which i know sounds weird to say because you, you could right traditional machine learning artificial intelligence has been around for many decades and you know here we come with with chat gpt uh right that's democratizing access to artificial intelligence true this takes it to another level uh, right? This is how humans actually learn, right? To get the most out of ChatGPT or Google Gemini or Anthropic Claude, right? You can do some basic things, but it's not always as intuitive as it could be, right? Yes, don't get me wrong. It is mind boggling that we can type to uh, an, an AI chatbot to a large language model and learn anything in any way. But this is how humans learn. This is how we interact. Um, this and, and, and being able to personalize it on the fly and i can continue to have this conversation i could talk for hours right with this uh new join feature it'll continue i've done a lot of testing it'll continue to go down the line think of it as like a a story right so it's um i'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's see how do i get out of this there we go so i still have this like 15 minute uh podcast so when i exit out <coughs> excuse me i can Imagine, uh, luckily, go back to break from the internet to X, yeah. right? Um, but one thing that I love is it will eventually, even when you interrupt it, it will eventually get to the rest of the podcast. But I've literally had 20, 30 minute back and forth conversations trying to understand complex topics. Uh, the key is, and to avoid hallucinations, you really have to load up Notebook LM with way more research than you you, you might think that you need. Uh, one, one little tip and trick uh, that I do, and this is not even done yet. Let's see if I can uh, do a screenshot here uh, in the middle uh, in the in in the middle of this video recording, uh, but one thing I like to do is combining uh, combining deep research. Right, uh, I'm in the middle of this. It's currently I don't know if this one's going to finish, but it's currently uh, 1,290, almost 1,300 websites that it's it's went and essentially crawled and giving me information from. So a lot of times I will copy and paste if I'm really trying to learn about a, a deep subject that I don't know a ton about, right? If, let's say if I have an expert in quantum computing on the Everyday AI show, I don't know a ton. So I'm going to run multiple uh, Google deep research. I'm going to copy and paste all that information into Notebook LM. And then I have a conversation, right? Uh, and, I, and, and I use these ways to personalize it. Uh, so this one feature, if you haven't used it, this interactive mode, I do think it is probably the single best uh, feature 
or use case for AI for everyday people, right? Uh, it's amazing. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, please subscribe to this channel. Please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back with another AI in 5 or AI in 15. Thanks, y'all.